So I think it actually found an interesting product at Walmart, of all, of all places. They're actually selling like this $10 like Famiclone system. And it's from Mercury Innovations. I've seen that name before. I've seen it in a couple of phone accessories and all that. Arcade Fun Portable Game Console. 200 games, I'm pretty sure that's probably a lie. A rechargeable battery, three inch wide display, and AV cables included, which I would assume is probably so you can hook it up to a TV. So we can see the entire box here. We got in the front, I've already read everything out. Mercury Innovations, 200 games, rechargeable battery, easy to carry, which is different from the front. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a TV that has composite so I'm just going to I got a little bit of a GoPro accessory that allows me to strap it to my chest so you'll be able to see the game more clearly from there because honestly the setup I have right now is not really a pleasing one for me to play this on I'll say that but uh yeah you get the same thing 200 classic games, compact and lightweight design, choose from retro, arcade games, puzzles, shooting, racing, fighting, adventure, and more. Great while traveling, camping, commuting, or simply relaxing anywhere. Plus, you can easily connect to your television for an even better, bigger gaming experience. You can see all these little different games we have on there. But, uh, whoa, knocked my camera there. Uh, so let's get into this. So we'll crack it open. Okay, so we got the cable here. I've already opened this, but, uh, it corrupted my recording files last time I did this, so I'm redoing the recording. We'll open up the console. Right here, we got our battery. I'm gonna move all these boxes out of the way. Here's the device right here. Sorry that the uh, lighting is a little bit off. Not bad feeling. It's not the best feeling, but it's not bad feeling. And these buttons are serviceable. They're just start stop buttons. I'm assuming that's a reset. Y, X, A, and B. Everything is very mediocre with this. It feels, the B pad doesn't feel too awful. The face buttons don't feel too awful. First thing is the uh, Nintendo Switch controller. I love the buttons on these. They're very tight feeling. The D-pad, I don't really like too much. It's a little bit too firm. I mean, as a comparison, here's a Steam Deck. And these, the D-pad buttons, I like these a lot. It's the same thing as the face buttons on these, on the, uh, Pro controller, they're very similar. I like that with our, my face buttons and my D-pad. And the same thing with the uh, face buttons on the Steam Deck. They're very similar to the Pro controller. The only difference is these are glossy buttons and these are like a matte buttons. So let's get into this thing. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on or off, but We'll pop out the back. We'll put the battery in. So, we'll just flick this on. And you can see it already, it just boots right up. And you got your just classic menu that you usually have with these Sam clones. Uh, we'll hold the speaker for a second. So, we'll reset it. Okay, I just wanted to do that a little bit of that piece right there 
because I want to see if anyone would actually know what that is from. The speaker, it, it doesn't sound that bad. I mean, we're only playing 8-bit games, so does it really matter that we have a very decent speaker? The sound emulation does not sound right. It sounds at the correct speed, but it, like the drums in the background, they sound very missing. It's almost kind of like reminiscent of like a uh, cave story if you ever played that. For now, we're gonna, I'm gonna strap to my, uh, my GoPro to my chest. We're gonna play some games on this. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so uh, here we are in our little uh, recording setup. So the background here on my computer monitor is intentional. So the reflection from my monitor being off doesn't do a face reveal. I'll probably zoom in onto the uh, screen in editing. So you guys should be able to see. But let's start with the first game here, Twin Fish. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, well, it looks like just here I'm matching up the uh, fish. Let's play a uh, turtles one. It's in Japanese for some reason. Is this a natural license game? Okay. Oh well, the game's trying to cheat here. even make that jump oh I can make that jump what uh, looks like we got a boss here that wasn't really that hard but okay I'm just gonna play until I die, so. That was a really annoying <laughs> little health noise. It's all in Japanese. Oh, okay, so it looks like you choose another one. Okay then. Fantasy zone. What in the world is this? Excite bike. Is that the actual excite bike? I actually don't know because I've never played an excite bike before. Ninja one. Okay. Gonna let me add you play. Okay, for some reason the screen's getting dimmer. Which I'm not liking. And try plugging it in. 
may help. Okay, yeah, that helped a lot. So I think it just does that when it's getting lower on battery. Pikachu. Okay. Well, that's a fat out lie. It says press start, but whatever. Oh. Just looks to be a, a Tetris clone, I guess. I mean, I'll say the spray looks cute. Oh, okay. That's actually a pretty nifty feature right there. It actually has the Tetris ability where you can like last second replace the um the block, so you have you can like place it underneath things. That's pretty good for some sort of knockoff game. I'll give it that. Music's not bad either. I might have just screwed myself with that. You know, normally I'm not really that good at Tetris, but I'd say I'm not doing that bad. It likes to double click once in a while though. Dragon, what's that? Easy. Okay. Stage one. Oh, it's just a snake clone. I wonder if they have Mario 14 on this. Uh, I guess that's it for this system. Uh, it's not really that bad to play on, I'll say. It does what it's advertised. It's, I would, I mean, I would bring this on a camping trip. Huck in your bag. Don't really care about ten dollars. Breaks. Who cares? I mean, I would pay for that. I'm gonna change my view here, and we're gonna go into uh, tearing this thing down because I think that would be interesting. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this quick because I only have like seven minutes to uh, record because I'm running out of space in my card. But we're gonna do a teardown now. I got my. First, let's remove this battery. But I'm gonna tear this down. Okay, so take that back plate off. Here's our terminals for the charging. Here's our uh, volume button. We got a speaker right here. We unscrew this metal little plate. Should be able to lift the entire thing off. We'll take our power button out right here. Here's our little system. Let's see our reset button there, our out, and our power switch. No, that's a charging port. This is the power switch right here. You can remove the screen, but unfortunately, this looks to be the, uh, I'm guessing the memory. And unfortunately, it's not like an SD card or something, so we can't take it out, put our own ROMs on there. This is the uh, the chip that's doing all the uh, emulation. See so right here, here's our front buttons. We pop them out, and bam, it's our D-pad. Let's pop that back in there. 
and assemble all this back together. So yeah, I assembled the entire thing back together. Let's see if it still works. Uh, power button stuck. There we go. Alright, it's working properly now. So, uh, yes. That's the, uh, Mercury Innovations Arcade Fun console. I got a Walmart for 10 bucks. This is uh, a little bit of a departure from what I usually do. Uh, the only other videos I have on my channel are mostly just game videos. Well, I mean, one of them is Mon Showcase, the other is just a let's play. But I, I don't know, I just saw this at Walmart. Thought it'd be an interesting thing to uh, show off. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to find something niche that would you know just give me a solid place on the platform so I saw this I th thought I would give it a try and uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this do let me know or if you just want me to just keep making gaming videos I guess I could do that too but uh, I also have whoops if you're interested in either or category I do have Minecraft I'm like halfway through recording and uh, I'm not exactly sure when it will be out but it will be out sometime uh, I also uh, if you guys are also interested see me upgrade like a 2012 uh, HP laptop that like upgrade the CPU upgrade the RAM upgrade the SSD and uh, we could see if it can play some games at the very least and we can even go a step further get like an external GPU case and uh, hook up a GPU to it and you know let it fly so uh, yeah uh, thank you for watching if you are and uh, I gotta go to bed it's like 12.03 or 0.03 so yeah I need to get bed I have other things in the morning, so I'll catch you all later. See ya.